podcast with your dumb ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All in the night. Cool. Yo, we got a very, very, very interesting episode on tap for y'all today. What's up? Uh, now, there's a lot of dope artists from Baltimore. Believe it or not. I know y'all think Baltimore don't bring grab stars. But we got a lot of dope artists. Yes, we do. But there's only one. Come. Uh, well, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Who's having it? Who's having it? So, man, thanks for having me. Before, before yes, we sir. jump in, like I said, we got a lot of great artists from the city, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. But I think you hold a special place because you've reached highs and did things first that nobody from Baltimore has recreated. Oh, nobody man. has done it. And that's no hate to no artists no, from no. the city. We love all y'all. We all together. We love all y'all. But this man's right here. We brought him in today because he needs to be recognized for his accomplishments. Definitely, man. Appreciate you. So oh, happy. So so happy to have you on the show, man. man thanks for having me. Yeah, 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 appreciate y'all, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. So, so, good to be, man. so we got a lot of questions for you. We're gonna dive the fuck out. Let's but do it. but but what we wanna do is we wanna real quick, oh, can, before we dive into that though, mm-hmm. can we can we shout out Latia real quick? Oh man, yeah. Shout out Latia okay. T, man. It's the first sip and listen, serve how to cold you uh body. Scan the QR code, man. My album pulls up and play for you. First sip and listen, oh, you know what I mean? Sip and listen. It yeah, is man. good. Yeah, tastes, like your, tastes like your grandmother made it and you're sitting on your back. Well, the first flavor, awesome. apple day. sign up. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so it's apple, 70% apple juice, 20% ginger. Mm-hmm. And then you got the secret sauce, 10%. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the love with the spring water. Ah, okay, okay. okay. That's, what's That's what's up. Thanks for yeah. bringing that on the show, bro. I yeah, appreciate yeah. y'all for having me here and let me come in and display what I've been doing, man. That's beautiful. We're going to get into that. All right, so let's, speaking of getting into it, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Well, let's do this. Let's start it this way. All right. Let's talk about early con. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about your music career. We want to we wanna give the audience a chance to understand who you are, where you came from, yeah. and how you started. How did you get from comp around the way to becoming Def Jam? Comp? Oh, man. Like, um, how did it all start? Where did it all start? That all started, of course, in school. I, I was over at, uh, I went to Douglas, sound engineering. Um, mm. From there, if you were to, uh, me and my guys, we was in a little group, had a little talent show. Meet Rough Riders right in between it. In the midst of those things, my father was coming home from like September 11th. What year we talk? The year September 11th, Pat. Mm, 2001. I guess so. I don't, yeah, I forget the year. Mm. But um, yeah, so around those things, you know, that was happening. So we went to meet Rough Riders, rap for Rough Riders. They wanted to sign me, went up yeah, there. Oh, yeah. shit. Went up you there. didn't jump out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to sign with Dan Wild, but the day I went to sign, Wild was in that accident on that T-Rex. Oh, dang. Oh. So that's what killed Dad. So we went shopping, shopping. So now, um... You said you I, went shopping, shopping? Yeah, shopping, shopping myself. Oh. Shopping myself as an artist, shopping different, you know, places. Shopping, so gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We had got me to, uh, you know, Tracy Smith. Uh, Tracy Smith, they got me to, uh... You love Tony Tracy. Austin, they you got me Tracy. to Kevin Live. Shout, Shout out, Tracy. Tracy. Shout out Tracy. Shout out to Tony, 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 Tony. So, but yeah, after we got the Tony, it was a rap. Right. right. It was a rap. Yeah. That's where I met the whole Channel City fan. That's where I get to meet all of this dope producers, Jose say Marlin, Dr. Banks. J. You know Dr. what I mean? Banks. Shout out James yeah. Paul. Baltimore Paul, legend. Paul, Another Paul, 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 All that, man. Big Will. Yeah, so it was a lot going on. I even mm-hmm. worked with Spit One as well, so, um, yeah, man. So you got so, with Tony Austin. It was right. a wrap. About how old were you when this all kicked off? I was between like 13 and 16. 13 and 16? That's, that's that window? Yeah. That's when you, he was a baby. That's, that was, oh, that's a baby. I, I listen. Mm. Tony came to me one time. I think it was me and you together. And he had you spitting over a motherfucking Michael Jackson beat, bro. I do a lot. I, bro, bro, hold up, bro. Yeah. He was spitting over fucking Michael Jackson. That might have been fucking thriller, yo. 
Yeah, am, I, I, am I tripping? Am I wrong? No, I, I, AKA man, I do a lot. Yeah. I make rock yeah. music, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I like to um, I like to stretch it. I like to go for it. Mm -hmm. I like to try it and stand on it, Ooh. and I like to really make it happen. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot um, early. That always been me, but at, I got around like great producers that can pull it out, like specifically like a. Bank. Banks. Dr. Banks. Dr. Banks. Yeah. Banks. Sean Banks. Sean Mocha Banks, yeah. yeah. Toka Banks, boy. Um, he could pull it out from R&B, hip hop, jazz, to anywhere. Absolutely. But if you got it in you, he'll pull it out. He's gonna get it out. You know what I mean? So it's yep. like, yeah. once you figure those things out, man, like, uh, go for it. That's yeah. the A&R so that's 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 an an type. Yeah, that's me always going for it. That's why I'm still to this day, I'm still rapping like I'm trying to get on. Um, right, you know right. what I mean. And I hear I'm, it. I'm going I hear that, for I it. I hear that hunger. Like yeah, because I want to come in and restructure a whole new deal. I want to yeah. like get it over. I want to really live out the dream of how it went for me at the first helm. You know what I right, mean? Right. So, and I want to do that with the same squad. Right. So, 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 so. <clears throat> let me jump into it. Yeah, motherfucker, you was on a track with two of the hottest MCs right now. Oh, Legends, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghostface Killer and Jadakiss. Yeah, shout Run. out to Ghost Jadakiss. Talk to me about the experience, whether it was the up, the down. Oh, man, it was one of the best experiences of my life. It's scary as fuck. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Ghostface niggas and them did not fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? These are legends. And this is what the people want to hear. Me? So, like, look, look, look. So, they didn't fuck with you. Yeah. Why didn't they? Why? Oh, what did they say it again, man? Means you write the rhyme through. Yeah, yeah. They, for, well, first, yeah. That, well, first before the um record, yeah. Kevin made me redo my first rep, my first sixteen that I had done. So, before. so for the people who don't know, we talking about the Run record. Yeah, the Run. Run. Well, they, run. Yeah. Ghostface Killer featuring Jada and a, a young cop. Yeah. So um okay. yeah uh I was on that record. I I put a verse on it. I got a call from Kevin Lyles. He was like, you know, I really need you to go in and you know. the conversation was so crazy. I ended up Indian style on my bead. Right Kevin was behind. Night. So Kevin was behind you. Oh yeah, yeah, the, for sure. I weren't. I blessed to have that. That, make, that you know makes mean? sense though. Like, so like, it was so, days that I actually got to sit with Kevin in the office while he actually, you know, make decisions on shit. Like I seen him come in and when they walked in, like DMX last album. Yeah. I actually had the chance to. I sat in on Bobby Valentino's deal. Mm -hmm. um, Damn, right, yeah, right. man, a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Being around Kevin, man. No doubt. And, and, and again, we got to do this. We got a level set because everybody don't know what's going on. Yeah. So, Comp is from Baltimore. Yes. Right. Kevin Lyles is from Baltimore. Baltimore. Kevin yeah. Lyles has been the top black record executive, top record executive in the music industry over the last 25, 30 years. Yeah. Period. That champ. Mm -hmm. He Came does out. not just sign anybody. Kevin, we know Kevin very well. Yeah. Kevin is very strategic. But Kevin ain't fuck with that shit at first. Right? I said, no, nah, it was Talk Tony. To him. Like, yo, check this out. Yo. Kevin said I sounded like Freeway. Mm. I was like, is that bad? But no, yes. But I'm young. I'm in the middle of go my nuts ain't dropped. Right. <laughs> you okay. Your voice still hot. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So I'm in the middle of going through, you know, all of that. Everybody ain't on that. And um the nigga told man, he was like, yo, I I never forget. He said, yo, I see something in this kid. Mm -hmm. Let me go cut some records on him. I promise you gonna love him. That's the special shit. We cut a demo deal. I think uh, like five songs. I think I got about after the two songs, mm -hmm. we was we was doing the real deal. We was doing the real mm -hmm. five album deal. About. You know what I mean? Right. So then, yeah, then we went from there. So everything happened for you so fast. Like I was there. We were there. We seen the process. Yeah. So you went from just we in the studio doing yeah. a demo lab rat to next thing you know you're on Def Jam Vendetta. You on the the is the Cradle to the Grave soundtrack. Yeah. I'm on Cradle to the Grave soundtrack. We, we, Johnson we, family, we, Johnson family, family reunion. Yeah, soundtrack. definitely. Yeah. You so was on that shit. Mm -hmm. So like in the movie on that one. And, and, and then to top it off, the Crim Della Crim was doing the 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 run record with with Jada and Ghost. So all of that happened in a very short window. Yeah. How was it processing that as a what sixteen year old? 
I mean, it's crazy because you, you forget we we also did the Lazy Bone record in the midst of Oh, my God. Like, you forget. Yeah. We did the record. Yeah, yeah, was we did the we, we, What's up, niggas? Shout out Lazy Bone, man. Like, shout out, shout out Lazy yeah, Bone. Yeah, man. Like, that, yeah. Was oh, that was a vibe. That was a vibe. We did that. We did the Lil Mo record. His style writing raps, too? Yo, in a planner, my nigga. In a planner. He wrote this shit. He wrote no. He was super black. Super strategic. Wow. Yeah. We did that. We did the uh, Lil Mo record. The be with you. Yep, yep. The be with you. Lil Mo. Yeah. Sean Banks, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. by Sean Banks. Sean Mocha Banks. Yeah, that's that nigga. Listen, listen. If you don't know who that brother is, listen to my people. Please yeah. look this motherfucker up. Go watch a few movies with Carmen and something. You know, you'll see what it love. is. You'll see what look it is. this motherfucker up. This is my brother. Yeah, he listen. Was, yeah. Super dumb, silly, yeah. talented. <laughs> Niggas really <laughs> Hemjimin, though. Niggas really Hemjimin, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, so 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 talk about it. The, well, I mean, at, it, at that time, like it, what, it was what were you crazy. Going you know, the days was unbelievable. You know what I mean? Every yeah. day looked like a Friday. You know what I mean? It was right. a yeah. special tip on every day. Um, it was really just wanting to keep up, uh, hoping I could keep up the um, the intensity of everything that's going on, and I wanted to always keep my pen sharp. Yeah, you know what I mean. Then in the midst of that, you growing up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. haven't even fucked a good 37 bitches. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything's happening. You know what I mean? Then on, keep in mind, I'm, I'm still young. Mm-hmm, you know right. what I mean? So I'm, I'm like 9th, 10th grade, 11th, you know what I mean? Shit like that. So it's like, I'm right, literally right. getting dropped off from the camera on video shoot the second period in high school. Right. Man, and like, I'm literally right, driving the bench truck. Unbelievable. Parking next to the teachers. Going in and doing a drill. Get the fuck out of here. Shit like that. Like yeah. yo. Unbelievable. Shit was wild. Are are you right now, are you are you mentoring any like inspiring and upcoming MCs right now? Are you are you I, 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 I try to general. just really be genu- genuine and give game when I do these type of interviews and things, but I don't really have nobody like up under me except everybody's around me helping everything move. You know what I mean? But right, right, right. I don't I don't no, I'm not no. You mentioned, you also mentioned you like, like you're here, you're in between here and LA. Yeah, I mean, I've been out in LA for the past. Is like, LA a good experience for you? Oh, hell, you know what? <laughs> LA is the best experience. You need that experience. I went out there on something. I wanted to actually go and live Tupac's life right. I went out there for that. Come cool, on, <laughs> man. So I, I, around the time I went, I had this uh, album called Christopher Shakur. And, um, what? Yeah, I had an album called Christopher Shakur, and I went out there. I got listen to that. It, shit was just real crazy, and I ended up, man, the places I lived in the sixties. I lived like right there. I'm between Sausage Swap Meat mm-hmm. and the Marathon. Holy shit! What? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so I'm, I'm always mix. around everybody. See, so, yeah. So yeah, I end up, mix. you know, I'm yeah, mixing and mingling. I done I done brought uh Nipsey artists down here twice. You know what I mean? Jay Stone, uh-huh. all money in. First time he ever been out. You who, know what I mean? Who again? Who again? My man Jay Stone. You know, oh, I love Stone. Jay Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Jay Stone. The CEO in the joint. I like Jay Stone. Him and Lord London was dip on the uh, top all, of the all, joint. Listen, he all get right, man. All get right. Yeah, that's Stone. Jay Stone was just coming home with some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that's that nigga, right? That's my I man, like right? Let me ask you this. I had him out here, hip hop chick. Come, let me ask you this. Now, I had the benefit and pleasure of producing for you, right? Yeah. And yeah. You were, uh, he you were record straight yeah. on the game. Mm-hmm. Video game. Absolutely. Went straight to the video game. game. What game? What game? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, real quick. Told y'all, man. Oh, say more. Y'all niggas don't know? Y'all know y'all talking to. We do work. We do work. We do work. Now, here's a question, right? Because I think about Baltimore hip-hop all the time. Understood. Do you think you get the credit you deserve in your own city. Oh, oh, oh. How you um, feel about that? Um, thousand. I, I get the... Come from on, the brother. right people. Okay. 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 Come on, bro. From that's the people, a, that's a, that's a, people that matters. Right. You know what I mean? But if we just talking about in like, general, no, nah, like, 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 these like, new niggas like, invented the wheel. Like, right oh, here on Beast Bar and Burger, right? Right. Like, I end up inside of, like, uh, Roddy Rex, um, comments and mentions because his group of people feel like he the first one that started it. And then there's people that's combating that saying, nah, come, come, come. But no, no, let me tell you this. You know what's funny? Yeah. I went and watched the run video with you in it, right? I'm right. like, let me go, because quite honestly, I'm from DC. I really, I ain't that's know right. much about you. But I remember when Osei was like, Steve, he was in the Dev Jam Vendetta 
video game. And I'm like, yeah. oh, shit, I do remember Slim. Mm -hmm. So when I watched the video, I went, I said, let me see what the comments say. Man, it's mad comments to talk about you. Like, man, yeah. I remember youngin' and this and that. Yeah. And he was nice. He held his own on the track. Yeah, he, he, I, I, you know what I get, though? I ain't gonna lie. I get a lot. It, it feel like I damn near died. I get a lot. Like, the like I got, because, like, wow. yo, wow. all of a sudden, the Wikipedia wow. go. It's shit like, like all right, so when you were part of the big label and shit, you know, after a certain amount of time, like after Jay-Z come in and run it and shit and be the president, and then when he leaves, some new people come in and run it. People come in and run shit and they got to clear their books and clear shit up. That right, like, right. when you spend a month, like, so I had a Wikipedia and shit. Right. All of a sudden, I was hit by Wikipedia guard. Wow. Like, certain shit, when it, when, when it start changing over. Right. So you got to let damn near fight to keep being in the system. To be Which is the reason why relevant. I drop so, so, music like that. So, so, so talk about that. Because I want to yeah, know. I, I think a lot of people want to know. It's okay. crazy. And then you become, after you with a label, and then, like, say when you're not with a label. Like, it's because it be hard to get your, like, so for instance, you can't even find, I go through that money man situation where it's dope, in order to find me through Spotify and all that shit, you gotta put my name plus a title of my song. God, yeah, 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 To yeah, find yeah. me, because I was with a label. Yeah. You right. feel me? Right. But I can find ABC John, easy, easy, east side, east side fornication, easy, like anything, <laughs> like I can Not find that shit easy. If it's like, if you haven't been with a, like, right. a major before, mm -hmm. yeah. but if you've been with a major before or something, that's the same thing where you try to go for money, man. Like, after he went through that shit with uh, right. cash money, and he paid the money back and all that. Yeah. Even when you pay the money back, it's still, when you are not in that system no more, right. they gotta go in and read. No, nah, well. Mm -mm. So so let me ask you a question, Carl. For some and reason. This, and this one might be a little tough. No, no, bro. Is it that thing that you're only as good as your last hit. Is it one of those things where have you scored a hit for the radio? Have you scored a hit for hip hop? Have you scored a hit for the people that are now listening to hip hop in a different ear right now? No, well, no, because after you get into this shit for real, for real. For real, for real. And when you get into this shit for real, for real, you know, that's 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 a marketing budget. You know what I'm saying? All this shit WWE. All this shit WWE. Don't you ever forget that. Right. All this shit WWF. Blitz and Slim. I'm not going to pay you that much money to make the shot, Steph Curry. I'm mm. paying you that much money to miss the shot when I call it down from the fucking Starbucks. Oh, mm. I might need you to miss three of them in a row in the fourth quarter. I ain't paying you to make that fucking shot you've been making in college. Right. You can make what your eyes call. I'm paying you to play my game. And what you say, yo, they was all they all together, right? So understand this. It's no, a hit is a hit is marketed and right. paid for. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pick so it no, it's not me of making the right record. It's of us saying which record we're gonna go with. Yeah. Mm. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So that's how this shit go once you get into it yeah. within the so big round. On mm. that note, mm. what happened? When the split happened, when Kevin went to Warner, and you were still on Death Chat. That I don't know, but I'm gonna give you real deal intel on my situation. Keep in mind, I was a young, young and coming up. Very young. So a lot of things with me Over doing, I'm not able to create or make my own decision for. Mm. So I would have something like, Kev, I had Hov call me on the phone and ask me if I want to go somewhere. Damn. I ain't going to tell no motherfucking Jay-Z, no. No. Right. You better fuck you that. You better right. go. So with that being said, I yeah. may say yes. But my parent my, my per may say no. Right. You know what I mean? So if my father say shout no, out, I say no. You, you know what I mean? I mean he say oh. no, I say yes. I ain't got on the plane. Mm. Right. So 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 with that being said, do you so do, with do, that do, being said, yeah. Do, do, do you think you missed out on some half Oh no, I missed out on a lot of yeah, I missed out on a lot of shit because like I said, I was young and every decision made um dealing with me wasn't didn't necessarily have to have me in it. In it. And involved in the <laughs> So for instance, if if uh, so for instance, I'm at the run video shoot. 
the marketing lady or something, whatever, come down. Brother, you're just a star in that motherfucker. You feel me? Check this out. Check this out. Talk about it. Talk about it. I get word that the ladies say to my CEO, Tony Austin. They don't, God damn, he got one hand. How can I market this? Mm-hmm. Now, I'm at the, you know, at this video shoot. Got my, my, my hype man with me. I got my people with me, my father and everything. Now, we don't know how that damages a father's ears hearing that about his yeah, son. Yeah, man. Mm. But the thing is, 100%. this is my dream. I'm involved shit, with this shit. So, as dad, I would have loved for you to come to me and let's talk to me about that. And I say, if I make up a marketing fucking play, if I can bring it to my, I mm. can bring it to Def Jam and say, what you think about this? Right. What about marketing like this? Or something like that. But instead, we don't know what the fuck a hurt dad would do. Mm. That, that's a good point, because I was about to ask you. You know what I'm saying? The so, perception on the outside looking in is to think that, like when you said, Jay might have called me, said do this, and my pops might have said no. no. Yeah. The perception, oh, your dad got in the way. Nah, yeah, front but... side is this. This is my question. Yeah. You don't know, you, we don't know what your experience was and the things you might have done that pops might have said, son, you got to slow down. Slow so I'm going to have to get more involved and make more decisions for you, for us. For my, for my baby boy. Was there some of that that was going on too? Well, you had less than as you, Well, experience. as I grow and look back on it, I can see that yeah, as right. well. But at the same time, this is an opportunity that of you don't lifetime. know two 100%. other niggas or one other niggas will get. Oh, right. that's, that's, that's why we're so at the end of the day, yeah. it's about we don't want this to go nowhere. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. So, so lightning in a bottle. Regardless, so it's bottle. like yeah. regardless of what, even though I'm young, mm-hmm. you still gotta come to me and at least present me with the chance to make these choices and decisions. No question. Right. Because it's still mine. It's your life. Like, I came home and said I wanted to do this. I don't want to bricklay. I don't want to go work in the jails. I want to be a fucking rapper. A artist. So my skin is tougher than what my father that made. Like, at the end of the day, I was born like this. He wasn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he don't, he could feel a way for me, Mm -hmm. but he could never know exactly how I'm feeling. Right, question. But you a dope artist. Yeah, you but my artistry. You was in the door. But when the, the music door. stops, it became less about. Artistry. But when the music stops, we have to agree to do shit. You should never. If I went in that booth and did all of that music effortlessly, it shouldn't be no hold up with me when it's time to do shit. Well, right. listen, because it's it, money involved. Now, now let me let me say this, because I knew your pops. Yeah. Who was a funny motherfucker, by the way. Definitely. This motherfucker was like Robin Harris. Yeah, funny definitely, shit. definitely. Uh, yeah. Pop it. Shout yeah. out to him. God rest his soul. Now, here's my question. Uh-huh. He, we know, he obviously loved his son. I know that from being Ooh, around yeah. y'all in the relationship. Do you think it was a thing where he just didn't know the business? Well... Let's 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 look at it like this. My father always been in my life, but nothing stopped him to get that bag. So if that meant going to New York to work in New York, I come home and visit you when I can. That's what that means. Even if I would have to go and spend summers in the jail with my father, mm. you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So he was just coming home September 11th, and with that being said. I won this rap thing to meet the Rough Riders. We with a manager. Come to find out the manager ain't who he say he is. Oh, shit. That's how it goes sometimes. So my father comes in, take over, trying to find me somebody that's relevant. And we comes to Tracy Smith, and then we get to Tony, Tony Austin. Austin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. All of this happening with him coming home. Within that time, let's say... We're in Puerto Rico. Mm. Let's Mind say, like, like, now let's say I'm Mind chilling blowing. and Jim Jones comes up. Damn, coach. Roll up, man. Roll up. Mm-hmm. Now, he don't know he just got me busted with my father because everybody around me look like entourage. Right. You feel me? But I'm right. growing up fast. This shit. Hey, hey, hang on my father for not trying to. Go ahead, man. I'm gonna just go. I see you in the room, man. I'm, you know what I mean. But he ain't cool. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Then you gotta keep in mind we had another show, North Carolina, bitch. Talk about, man. I suck you and your father, dick. 
shit like that. Right. Like, so <laughs> and that's that's real because this, real, this, is, is, your, real. this is your this father is, we're yeah, talking about. Fa- and then on right. top of that, this is my real life. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm in the midst of growing, he in the midst of knowing. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, how the fuck you get a, you know what I'm saying? These things about it, they don't, they don't know what's going to happen with me when I go in that booth. Right. Man. He know I'm going to come out with some good music. He know I'm going to come out with the music. Yeah. But he don't know what the fuck. After, what's after, after, after the music. Exactly. After. What's after the music. Exactly. And, and then yeah. it's like, you know, with this shit, you can really, you know, your wildest. You can lose your shit. Your wildest whatever can come true after the session. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Bro, it's just like I'm, that. I'm gonna tell you something. Right now, you're making me feel like I'm an artist. Well, yeah. Like, listen, right now I'm living vicariously through you. Yeah. And I'm thinking about the shit that would happen. Man, that shit like, is If I spit run after I get out the booth and I'm in New York City. Yo, you go from walking to school to I live across the street from school, to walking to school to driving to, like. My man, having my a man Benz on provisional, trying, pulling up in the Vito. Like yeah, like having a Benz on provisionals. That's crazy. Right. That's wild, bro. Ooh, that's crazy. Ooh, that's crazy. That's like, very like, great. That's, you know what? That's, 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 that's you were basically a child star. Yeah, you was a child yeah. star. Exactly. You know you what I'm saying? Emmanuel Lewis, Gary Coleman, you was a fucking child that, star. But it, it, but the thing is, child stars don't get to make all their decisions. They don't. Yeah. And a lot and of a lot of they times they shit can hard. happen. Right. And what a lot of times what happened is. Like, so for instance, I was so young that I know that I personally didn't burn bridges. Right. But I know certain bridges will burn that probably I might won't be able to cross again or whatever. But <sighs> the thing is, because at the end of the day, you always go get the, you still rapping? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, like this is a career choice. This ain't no, this ain't a job that's, at the hospital. That's, right, why, right. That's, that's, why, right. that's why I asked you earlier, yo, bro, are you bringing up some MCs? Are you, are you, are you, I know you can fuck around. Well, even, even if it ain't just rapping, life like after rap. Life after. Yeah. Life after. You fuck around with NBC, you fuck around so, with so, me. So, oh, so, so, yeah, yeah, I've always been but, 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 to, I know to, you to, would to, have motherfuckers, that's what I wanted to know. To Steve's point, like you had this rap life, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, when that burns, they in the fucking hood, don't never recover. How were you able to recover and get back on your feet? And then where have you gone since? Well, Rap is doing music has been really my only sense of therapy anyway, so I'm going to do music. Good shit, therapy. For sure. For sure. Good this shit. is my therapy. Don't you stop. My I, so I have to do it. My main thing is I just be wanting to get more skilled on the business side of marketing and putting it out. Right. Like I could go in the studio, record myself, make the music, put it up, blah, blah, blah. But how do I do a good rollout, a successful rollout, mm-hmm. even on an independent budget? Mm-hmm. When all you know is big Kevin Lyle shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got a good sense of how shit should go, but it's a certain bang that that comes with. Right. So even with not having that, how do you trickle that down to the independent scale and still be able to, because you still have to move like a major, even independently. Right. That's Absolutely. why, that's, that's, you know, hey, that's a that's, fucking t shirt. That's the yeah. move like a major. This is. That's why I was asking I like you about other artists, because sometimes you know you can breathe. Right, but other artists, yo, this shit, the shit that I went through with this shit, oh, bro, if you ain't been through it, you ain't, no other artists ain't, you ain't, you don't understand to the fact of how much I want this shit. Mm-hmm. Right, but I said, I want it like, no, 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 like, I, like, bro, like, the shit I've been through with these niggas, yeah, you the, if you oh. wasn't with this shit, if you was a weekend rapper or I get off working rap ass nigga, yeah. you wouldn't be fucking with this. No, sir. Now, I, no, sir. Like, no, bro, sir. no feeling. Yo, that's even with the drug. Yo, there's no drug that can give me, like, the feeling of coming out the booth with y'all or y'all. The shit I'm Absolutely. talking about. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and look, let, let me tell you. That's salute. Salute, salute, Real salute. Talk, and that, that, that right there was profound. And I'll say that's profound because as a, as a career music producer, right? Only people who've been in there, it's just like you playing football, right? Yes, sir. Only people who've been in there the understand it a certain way. Yeah, you got to put the pads on. You got to put the pads on. Yeah. And we, 
Man. What you're saying is, we've been in there that way. That go. Yeah, we've been in there that way. Like, yeah, like, to the, like, so, so for Estes, can you still, all right, all right, um, let me, this is just a perfect example. Imagine you get a call from Kevin Lyles saying you got to redo a verse. <laughs> Same time, you got to show us something. Redo and that then get that, get you that gotta, done. But, but look, though, like, all right, now let's say regular life. You had went to a funeral. Can you still go to the studio and rap after that? Holy shit. Scarface. Mm. You understand Scarface. what I'm saying? Like, that's me. Ooh. That's me. I know when to cut this shit on and off. Like, I, I really, like, bro, I can really leave everything in the car and come in the studio and be a new. A whole nother energy. A whole nother energy. Yeah. And, and that's what I know how to not is. bring that shit in here. That's a professional. You know what I mean? Or if I got to bring it in, just put it on the record. So what do you feel about today's era of MC? Do you think they have that? Well, no, I checked it out. No, 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 no. Before you no, answer, no, no, you no let, let him answer. Keep that shit funky, man. I'm gonna keep it funky. No, because I'm from the era where you had to go out and get uh, 10 no's for two yeses. That's what I'm talking 100%. about. You understand what I'm saying? That's what like, I'm talking Like, we about. come from pushing actual CDs in people's hands or people see you coming with the CD and they turn around going all the way and yeah, shit yeah. like that. Like, I come from that. From that telemarketing. Yeah, do you era. like this no, or that? No streaming. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to get on the street and really see people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, people go, that's him over there. So, look, so so that being said, you are clearly, despite being a young dude, I mean, we talking about 20 years back, right? In 20, yeah. Hindsight is 2020. I get all that. We covered all that. Who inspired you as a young up-and-coming artist? Oh, like, um... Give it to me, Rob. Give it to me, Rob. Yo, I ain't gonna... I, Give yo, it to I'm me, Rob, like brother. Young heads. I'm, I'm like, old right. as a young nigga. So, like, you know, I came up with, like, Miss Tony and Method Man. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Damn. Wow. That's a hell of a mix. That's yeah, a, like, I came mix. up with, like, Immature and Bone Thugs and Harmony. Okay. See? See? I'm from that. Yeah. So, I, I I lived through the Rough Rider, the Master, the No Limit Soldier. That's what I went to I was all that. Like, so yeah. when you see people that come through... Like things trunk. that won't happen again. Like after Out after Michael trunk. Jackson, there was a fucking Master P, yeah. and then there was a goddamn a baby. And oh, I, yo, I'm you so gonna get yo my cousin outside, yo? He had the door. Yeah. Yo, hold on. So look, that second week coming right now. And, and, and look, check right this out. Hold on. Baltimore, we we from we from a city where. Spider Man people face. don't respect it for hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> Let's yeah, just keep yeah, it yeah, funky, true, right? True, we true, from a city true. where people don't respect hip hop. Yeah. This was why it was so important for us to bring you on here because I want to tell the story of Baltimore hip hop. We yeah. want to tell. So that's a fly hat, by the way. Speaking, Thanks, speaking of, of speaking of that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. Hey. I'm with you. So. Who are you talking about, Baltimore rappers? Baltimore Give rappers. Give me your top five. Five, 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 five just give us at least a sentence of why. Oh, well, the reason I'm going to say boss man, because even as an independent, he still moves majorly as fuck, bro. And this Absolutely. motherfucker still moves. He is the most calculated Shut artist. Up. Like, I love how, like, he still give me sign vibes. <laughs> like, you feel me? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. That hey, shit crazy. Hey, hey, come. He, he just did the bulky. Hey, 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 come. He did yeah, the he bulky just, shit. I'm the in that video. Shit. I'm in. in that video. Oh, fuck, I ain't seen you. I'm in there with the orange oil. Me and my dude in there, yo. We yeah. just seen Boss Man, too. We just seen him. We just hollering at him. Shout out Boss so Man. So that's Boss Man. Tim, Tim Trees. Tim Trees. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to say Tim Trees bank because... Rose. Because as a Baltimore artist, I feel like being alive, that was the most, that was the rap we took serious. Okay. We bought that cassette tape. Yeah. We bought that CD. Absolutely. We Absolutely. bought Timothy Dalton. He yeah. was, because at, at a point, he was really Baltimore. Yo, he was the same. He, he was the same. He was the same. He was the bar, and you had to get to that. And, and, and him and Riley. Lee. Shout out Riley. Yeah. Shout out Riley. Got to do it. Right, so that's yep. two. Right, we got two. two. Um, 
We gonna go four. Let him go. You can say, but I'm gonna have to go eighty dimes because I was signed because Ooh. of eighty dimes. Oh dimes. shit, we get history. Dimes. Okay. Hey, yeah, man, I was signed because of eighty dimes. It's okay. 80 I dimes. remember that shit. Okay. Remember Leo told Kevin, "Damn, you got this eighty dimes shit popping. Like, what you got pop? Like, yeah. man, that's in your backyard. You, yeah, you ain't got yeah. nothing. We ain't got nothing to do with that. Right. right. No feature. Right. Then here comes Kong. Then here comes Kong. So that's how. That's so. so I'm always so cop is also in the top five. Eighty dimes. Well, I mean, I can't. No, 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 no. We gonna go. We gonna go top five. We don't come. We gonna go no come. We we obviously know who you are. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Um. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go. So you got you got boss, boss man, man Tim Trees, Tim Trees, eighty dollars, pork chop, pork chop. As an MC, yeah, as a rapper, as a rapper, fucking right. They don't know about John. Yo, check this out, yo. Pork chop was one of the first rappers. Yes, ninety two Q pork chop. Pork chop one of the first rappers I've seen independently with the big cutout in the store that he was working in Metro Two. Absolutely. Metro Two. When you Absolutely. go get the Cub CDs and all of that shit, like he, like I knew, I knew shit. Pork Chop as a rapper. This is Baltimore right. shit y'all getting right I now. I didn't. Oh, that radio shit. shit was like, it fucked me up when I found out that the radio nigga was Pork Chop because I knew him as a rapper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny does well. Like, Johnny you know does So it's like uh, four, That's um, four. four. Yeah, uh, we got, we got number five. Shit. Cause I'm a young nigga, bro. I told, I told you. Tell, you ain't gonna get no young. I'm a, you know what? Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta go young. Yeah, please go young. Damn it, will be between Scar and Molly, man. Scar, I bought my motherfucking brother. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go Scar. Though. Shout out Scar, I'm man. Hey Scar, I'm fighting Scar. for you. Yeah. But we not gonna forget Lil Sneaver. Talented no, we can't. Woo! We can't forget the. Hey, yo, check this. How about some real shit? Cause I was supposed to be making a bag. Mm. Hold up. Now real shit. I'm going to give you some real. I'm going to give you real. Hold up. Talk Check about this it. Out. Talk about it. Come with Diddy. I was, how about Come this? Come in the house with Diddy. What would have happened? I was actually at, they had the trials for it in Towson by the mall. <laughs> they sure did. I was I in the line for it. Okay. I never forget. I performed. Hard PA liked my shit. Mm -hmm. Had me sign the shit and oh, all that. Shit. I put down the date of um day I was born. Okay. I was too young. I couldn't do it. Motherfucker, you should have lied. But look, but look, I didn't know the lie. I didn't you know lie. it's a lie. But look who was behind me in line. Uh oh, Chopper. Wow, wow. my God. Yeah, and that's my, my real God. homeboy. Like, I know Chopper. Like, Chopper, I know Chopper yeah, too. He was Chopper doing when we was there. When we were same was... line at uh, making a that's band. That's crazy. And when he he actually got it and made it. But I actually got hey, it for you. Bro, that's the Big little homie. Get it. Big round. Big round. Yeah. Big round. Big round. behind Crump. Yep. In the line of making the name. It. Yep. I'm fucking believable. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is the shit that you're only going to get on Beaks, Buns, yes. and Bourbon. I'm sorry. Definitely, man. I'm sorry. And, and, I don't apologize. And, and, and look, I, look, I, I got a shout out. Some of my favorites. Yes. Yeah. Moose, Moose. Yo, that's my favorite. No, no. Scooter. Get, that's come my favorite. No, no, come. You know, you're your five. Five. No, five, come. You know, you're your five. 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 No, now you get I had to give the political five. five. Yeah, like uh -oh. I had to give a political five, but yo, Moose is like one of my watch, best songs. Watch, watch his five be fast. Uh, I'm not even gonna oh, go. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go five, but I'm gonna just say, along with who he named, like all of them are dope. Like yeah, I think Baltimore got a lot of dope that's, MCs. That's a nice political response. But the thing yeah, is, yeah. is like for me, I rock with Moose. That's my, heavy. That's me. That's Shout me. out Moose, man. I rock with him heavy. I love his voice as a producer. Yeah. I would want to produce him. Like I love his voice. If you remind me, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna get what I'm seeing, but he yeah. got a high voice, weird kind of like. Hey, yo, I love, I love you this shit. You over somebody's voice. You have the voice. You got to be a voice. I'm a producer. That's what it is. It's the voice is an instrument. Hold on, hold on, guys. Can I get one second to breathe? We had Molly Man. We had Steve Colossal. We had Fat in Stash House. We had a lot of, lot of instead of shout out to motherfuckers. I said, Scar I bought. I said, Los, these are the motherfuckers. Yeah. We ain't gonna shout out Egg Allen Poe? Black talent. <laughs> oh my we cannot. God. I can we not. How can we talent. not? What? I was just with Black talent. You know, just with Black Talon. I was 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 just with Black Talon. I was, I was, yo, bro, I was around the corner from Mega House. Oh, Black House. Electric House. Black House. Time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out. No bullshit. This motherfucker right here, my guy Mocha. Remember that King Shaw? I remember that in the background. Oh, my God. Making it in that Black Tanner fucking house. Absolutely. Slow is nice, man. Yeah. Tony.
Crazy. Learn to breathe is all I need right now from some fight. I need from one of you room to breathe. I, 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 I'll get that for you. You I'll said this to that's me. That's my record. Good. I did the record, goddammit. Hey, listen, Miles. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> Smoker. I'm going to tell you this real quick story about hey, Black Tower. We're going to get Black as flowers real quick. All right. Yeah. So we know Black was signed with, with uh, Tony Black right before. Well, me. well, well. But but he was with Rough Riders. Yeah, Same yeah, way yeah. you were with Rough Riders. Yeah. Shay Black oh, was yeah. with Black. Oh, 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 Black was with Rough Riders. 90, what was it? 90, Survival of the Illest Tour. Yeah, that was Maybe late 90s. It was later than that. It was like 98 or something like that. Motherfucker. Like motherfucker we, spitting gum I, I we knew yeah. Black was nice, but I didn't realize who he was until we ate the Paradox. Mm -hmm. Survival of the Illest, Ja Rule, uh, the Lions, all of them. Man, red, man. Uh -huh. Jada, Black. Jada sees Black and just bows down to What? Why? Say it again, yo. Why? Jada, that's how, that's. Jada, Jada, Jada the God. Yeah. Showed the kind of respect to this Baltimore artist, Black Talent. That's tough. That, and when I saw that, I was like, yeah, he is who I thought he was. Motherfucker, yeah. Black yeah. was like, ill. Yeah, yeah, that was just nice, man. Bad, no, I told you, I know. It was after Morgan Homecoming. Uh -huh. I, this is when he was, he was fresh in the game doing all that shit. He like, Steezo, I want you to hear this shit that I've been working on. So I'm listening to this shit. And it's the King Shaw in the background. There's no picks. No yeah. picks. Yeah, so I'm picks. listening to it. I'm like, shout out my man. I'm like, I'm like, damn, home wow. Baltimore. He's like, yeah, nigga, Baltimore. Yeah. Nice, bro. Yeah, hey, yo, yeah. you already know. I yeah. fuck with cuz, man. So Listen. so we had the privilege of being around him in black. Yeah. Like two of the baddest motherfuckers who could have who he was national, but black, you know, it ain't work out quite as well for him. So DC. Come black and all them. They the new balance of Baltimore. Yeah, um, here we go. Here we go. I love it. Yeah, I love yeah, it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So come. Yes, sir. I would be remiss if I didn't mention. Spell remiss. R-E-M-I-S-E-T-I. -E <laughs> Jay-Z. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah. God. Yeah. Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. Jay-Z. Probably the best oh, yeah, that's one of, my of all time. Yeah, right. One of the best of all time. Yeah, he said before. Man. Gave you. Yeah, my big. Major fucking prop. Man. As uh, a youngin. When that nigga called me by my government name, I officially retired rap. How oh, feel me? Because oh, it was shit. like, I did. Like, besides that, on being on, like, having a rap snacks or something, like, you don't get no more rabbity rap than whole. Rabbity oh, rap fine. snacks. I know a lot of that. Yo, no, I, um, well, um. I ain't going to lie, I'm stalking the nigga. You feel me? <laughs> he just got the, the position, you feel me? Nice. And, um, I want to know what's going on with my situation. We got the record Harder out. Yeah, man. And um, we going with it. What minute I'm going to do that, by the way? Jay Harder, Jay Funk. Shout out Jay Funk. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. well, I, I, I remember it was dirty. Then I think, what was that? Russell said, clean that shit up. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sitting there. Yeah, he's he, he just became president, so it's a big line to his office. I'm talking about every artist you can think of, a rock artist. Like legit, artist. like you walk in, it's I'm like talking about it's a line. line. I'm talking about this line is so stuck. Imagine, imagine, imagine a, 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 a imagine a soul train line. About, talk about with like state property, no doubt, and fucking like like rock artists and like every that's a pre and like, all them. Yeah, well, this is yeah, this is whole becoming. This was right before oh, post came. Billy Connor, uh, all of that shit. Oh yeah, he so was super, super, yeah, super, yeah, he was yeah, he yeah. super whole beat though. Yeah, and, like, and, 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 and was still leaving the Maybach outside running all day. I never forget oh, that. Wow. Somebody, I, this was when you didn't know what the fuck a Maybach was. I always like, oh, what, what kind different? of car is that? He doing different. Like this was when you just saw the car drink. You're like, what the. What is that? Solid nigga though, like. No, he was super. I mean, yo, I, if it mean anything, like, yo, my birthday be December second, his December fourth. It was just like me, the same, just mm -hmm. different energy. He jumped off the rut, the CD cover right he there. You were the maybe. I ain't gonna lie, yo, toughest nigga with the softest hands in my life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. Soft oh, hand, oh, soft hand, oh, soft oh. hand. Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 he gonna, no, he touches Beyonce face and everything with them hands. 
Yeah, no. yo, that little like, hands, yo, that man's hands. It's all this kind of. Yo, gave me, yeah, yeah, I like it was all. <laughs> and he shook bull. my hand and felt hey, like bull. somebody wrapped it in gauze. Hey, bull. Shit, shit was great. <laughs> he was gone. Yeah, yeah, he right. Was he was gone. He was gone. So I'm uh, like shaking uh, his back up. Yeah, I'm trapping him. <laughs> I get with this nigga, L.A. Reed. Uh -huh. Me and L.A. Reed coming down the hall. We see home and shit. So L.A. Reed, yo, hey, yeah. Let me introduce you to our honest girl. Nah, I know Jordan. Oh! What a dog. He definitely do his own with the man saying. Cause you're your government. It's with the man He do his own work. What he had saying. That's what whole man saying. <laughs> All right. So look, look, we had to say that. Look, look. <laughs> Let me ask you this, though. Like, yes, sir. Like, what would you tell? I want you to give some inspirational, motivational words to young Vocation. youths coming up. Like young youths. Like, oh, like a young right you right now. What would you say based on your experience to a young version of you, which your dad didn't know now that you do know? Oh, well, you got, what would you say? Yo, you got, you got, you, first of all, bring everything to the child that you will want the child to bring to you as the adult. So even that shit that you don't really want to, that uncomfortable shit yeah. that you would, those, those we'll uncomfortable conversations with your child, yeah. go ahead and have them with that child as freely as you would want that child to bring you those uncomfortable things. How many? So hold up. Let's see. As, oh, as, as dads, we get it too. We get that. We get that. Because oh, oh. now I'm a dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. So hold up. Come on. That shit was so deep. I'm going to take a jump. Over the open ears bottle, and I'm gonna talk about John. <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, oh, let me talk about it. I can speak on it. So, John Morant has been in a lot of trouble and a lot of heat with the media, the NBA, mm. with some acts. But is trouble trouble when you with your dad? Damn. Ooh, that's a layer. Ooh. <laughs> you feel me? Do that. Yo, is it though? What's a layer? Is trouble really trouble? Is that when they got for what you and God? Hey, but you see, Dad, you know, no, I'm just saying, no, but like, no. Hey, yo, but think about it. I can take on anything. That fucking judge. You want to take on that judge? John Morant. You taking that judge? I was a meeting, like, on the flight after having a meeting with the team about not doing these quick. Particular thing. We never, we never, we never even talking about this. So, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this then. I'm gonna say a three. Is this a fine? Listen, listen. Let me say a three syllable word. Decorum. Mm. Okay. Where you going? Where you going? Jabba Rat and that Memphis, that Memphis Grizzlies squad mm -hmm. has lacked decorum for the last the two years. This is the beginning. Right? right? They're a young team. They think they bigger than everybody. They, they tougher than everybody. They, they the way they talk shit they about. I'm not this. I'm a Laker fan. I don't give a fuck about them. We got 17 rings. They you charm your house. You're know. talking about young niggas with new money. Let me finish. Let me. Let them go. 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 Y'all niggas, young niggas, new money. I can use that same statement and say this. No respect. You don't respect the legends of the game. You don't respect the veterans of the game. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who the fuck the veteran is in the locker room for these motherfuckers. Let's see right? That. You that. That. That's because he, that. he, he came he out. Adam says Australian. Please, but, and, but, 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 he got cold out. He's still a man, though. He's, the he's still a man. He's still a man. I left. He's, he's a man. So, so hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Finish my point, though. God damn, your point's been 10 minutes. Y'all motherfuckers, I'm in Baltimore. Go, 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 go. Come on, get on the stove, boy. I said five things. Go, 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 go. You're right, you're right. I'm good. Go, go, go. You're right. That's all, all I'm saying. That's all, I'm saying. all I'm saying is this. With all the shit that we're talking about in the past is we want to give John ja Morant. Okay. Let's call out the simple fact that he's been majorly disrespectful the last two years. Yeah, seven. He's I been agree. majorly I disrespectful. Agree. One of those sport kids, you give him a lot of leeway because he's talented. It reminds me of the AAU era. It reminds me of the youngins that get away with mad shit because they talented. Oh, he get a bucket. He he can do this. He's slick. The crowd roars when he does everything. But he talks shit back to the teachers. He runs his mouth to the coach. He threatens to go to another team. All of that kind of shit. Well, for, so we talk about sipping glass and he goes on the plane. So that's all I fucking care about with these young niggas. Is, are you accountable? Right. 
We need to hold our own accountable because one one of the problems we got as a, as a community but it is so hard. We make, we make excuses, right, for our people. You know it, what? It, it, it's so hard to be accountable on the popcorn days, yo. Every microwave for popcorn nothing. for a call. Nothing don't mean nothing. Like okay. so, for instance, okay. Michael Troy don't get out there. No we more. had to go out and pass CDs out. Go and get eight no's yes. for two yeses. Right, right. We appreciate, that made me appreciate every studio set. That was a suck. Right. That made me appreciate every late that night he just stood up there with. That was amazing. This point. nigga bought me third flu in a CD spindle, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? The CD and hurt. a fucking CD spindle that holds 50 to 100 CDs, bro. <laughs> bro. To make it happen. Like, think, it's different when you come from dead tapes and burning your fucking rough drafts on them CDs. Right. It's it's straight. Straight. It's straight. Straight. It's you straight. don't respect it. So the level you of accountability respect. now is not there. Man. No. Right. No. So to ask you guys the question, in this John Moran, the younger, the younger guy, Earth, like, how many guys are like Grant Hill? In terms of what? In terms of money, the business, how to insurance. cure out. So, there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of them. They just a lot of them. They just about to They just about to get crazy. They was a one of one. They not even going to compare these new niggas. The thing about hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, listen. The thing about John Moran is he's a star. He is the most magnetic player in the NBA. Right now, he is. Right now, he's the most magnetic player in the NBA. So anything he does, he's going to be magnified. Magnified. Anything. But here's what I don't like. I don't like the fact that with this gun shit, they try to villainize him on his gun shit yeah. when American gun culture is running crazy. Right. Yes. But at the same time, though, right. man, I, 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 I check this out, though. I pay you too much <laughs> to walk around with you concealing a gun. I feel like I don't know. I got the three of us that want me kind of gun. Two different things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kind of gun. Now let me let me answer. Let me answer that. Now the NBA having an issue with him is one thing. I get that, but all of these uh talking headed motherfuckers having an issue with him with the gun. I don't get it. Like, yo, it's a gun culture. But even in America. Yeah, but if I got a little podcast or a little YouTube protect channel and I get to talk shit about you and this. Protect dude, myself. I, or protect myself. You got to understand what the streams mean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm you, just saying. When you living on that check coming every first, every 21st of the month. I get it. from YouTube. I get it's it. A, you well, I get that. it. I get it. I'm just speaking on the American hypocrisy. Oh, it's very it's, 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 a, it's a culture of guns. Like this country has a culture of guns and gunplay. Right. And then here we go, looking at him, singling him out and making him a villain when the whole culture is a culture of right, guns. Right, so so you say we just boxes. Well, what he is on Weenie's boxes. Right. So that's what I'm about to say. He chose. To scream he loud. He gotta be for straight Instagram. Up. That's my only point. That's my only point. But it's right. his choices. He did. And honestly, his that's choices. And you gotta live with your choices. I think that was him doing the publicity stunt. Right. I think it's him. I think it was this. I'm a I think it was him. No, no, listen. It's a bad yes, publicity stunt. I agree, bro. But it's a bad publicity stunt if it's a publicity stunt. Yes, what I'm talking about. But it's not smart. Let me say this. What's bad now? I don't, I don't really what the it. fuck is bad now? What I think it was. That this is what I'm saying. That teeth are good for Christ. It's good for a Everybody got to sit on that job. It's an invisibility factor. He thinks nobody can touch him. Like, hey, what, what baffles me is that people think that there are so many handlers that these people that they're handling never get out of character. Hey, they could touch them. Hey, Steve. They never get out of character. Hey, these Steve. motherfuckers get out of character all the time. Hey, Steve. They do. He was out of character because he felt he was an untouchable. It's, it's so easy and then to he get out of character with a bad and guess though. what, though? Guess what he blamed, though? It's the shit that fucked me up about John Morant more than anything. Fuck the gun situation. This and all that shit is bad. You say, I gotta take time out to focus on my um uh, mental my mental health. But here we that's go. The, that's the that, here we go. Here we go. That was every bullshit. every every here we go is a a line that somebody fed you. That's right. That one of your handlers, one of your one of your publicists fed you. Public publicist one on one. So they get added these lines. But here we go back to the lack of accountability. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to take ownership of their action. Yes. They'll apologize, yes. and then you cop out. This 
is right. I don't like it, man. This is the era that we now live in. There's no such thing as bad publicity. What I yeah, do true. is what I do. I'm not wrong. Yeah. You're right. I'm not wrong. What do I? I misunderstood. I misunderstood. I mean, it's still going to be talked about. But where we going? Like, not, like, not as the show, but as that, like, as a culture. Like, if that's the point, if that's what you're saying, where we going? When, when does it go from there? It's called progressive. How the fuck do lack of accountability lead to any type of growth? Before you got to grow, you got to understand that I'm fucked up and I need to change. Hey, 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 but how they tell that story is through the game, like he might start losing, he might start winning. They're gonna spin it a nice way. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially if you start winning, huh? Yeah, they're gonna stop this shit a nice way. All this shit goes up the fucking window. You win and you can do this shit. No, no, no. But the older gentlemen need to hold the younger. The guys of the county. Not the unks, the OGs. The OGs. And it's a fucking thing. It is a fucking thing. And, and, and well, the thing is, it, this goes back in African society for generations. Damn. Yeah, generations. The older gods always have held the young men accountable. Yeah. And Jack, we lost that. We lost so that. And so if we, if we don't get back to that, but see the accountability, say, every, hold on. Everybody's scared now because, <sighs> because they scared of that word judgment. That oh, word judgment is not a bad word. But we were in anymore. a day where Scottie Pippen's wife could fuck Michael Jordan's son, though. Hey, you wasn't going at it. No. You wasn't going at the Charles Barkley. No, you, you, you wasn't doing it to Barkley. You wasn't doing it to Barkley. You wasn't doing it to Charles Oakley. You, like, you, 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 it you was doing it to Charles Oakley. But, but like, no, I'm you're just saying that you were doing it to Oakley. R.I.P. But you wasn't doing it to Charles Oakley. I was not racing. You feel me? Charles Barkley was throwing you through a window. Yo, he had a quarter body. Yo. Time, out. Like, time out, guys. Time like out. Like time out. R.I.P. Well, Brandon called a time out. Yeah. Yeah. We got a time out. R.I.P. Anthony Mason. Biggie wrote a song that story in itself. She didn't have it. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Look but at we, that. But we like. We, we like. Yeah, well, Biggie, yo. We like. But name, we another, like another, but, but name another time you're going to be able we to like, say, don't we know my nigga got to fucking kidnap kids? Fuck up in the ass, throw them over the bridge. I can say that on the CD, but I can't say the son of Satan. They say my killer's too blatant. As a taking, I'm in your mama crib waiting. Duck to hear the son of. They always cut that, they always cut that. You know what right. I mean? The, the times is different, bro. It's a different Everything, time. yeah, it's a different this time. shit is crazy, and the, bro. Yeah, absolutely. So, 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 guys, We're going to Chris Rock. So, 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 I, I mean, so, 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 Chris so, Rock. How we transition yeah. to this? Selective outrage. Chris Rock in Baltimore, Maryland, and Hippodrome. Let's go. Yeah, oh, he yeah, dropped yeah. that, dropped yeah. that shit egg right in Jada's backyard. Right in the backyard. That's how you do that. Uh, you. I mean, if he, he had a long time to think, think about it. it. Yeah, because he's going to take it right up the road to Philly. At this man. At the, he's going to take it right up the road. He's going to East Coast tour. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Wait till see outfit for Philly, though. What are you going to do? Oh, my God. He might fuck around with him, throw back. Like, he gonna have a little bit of a throw throw back. back. Yo, know, he gonna fuck it up, yo. Trust me. Time out, yo. Time out. The whole comedy joint started out with him praising him loving Will Smith and. Yeah, yeah. You fuck. Nobody give a fuck. But you don't slap no dog skin, nigga. No, 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 no. But 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 don't slap no dog skin, nigga, bro. He started out. I didn't tell him. Damn. But Chris Rock said that he was bigger than him. At that point, yeah, when he decided not to slap him, that's when he just stopped really he winning. That's how big Will Smith is to me. He, he said big. that shit. Chris, yeah. You think Chris Rock bigger than Will Smith? Chris Rock said. Will Smith. No, Will Smith. Right, so, 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 I, I, I can't wait to end. Hey, Will Smith is Will Smith. Six, All right, right oh. so let's talk about. He said he played. No. Fucking Muhammad Ali. Granted. He said I played Pinky Bulls. So let me ask you this. Let me answer this. Chris Rock. You on stage. You 5'10, 290 pounds. Tail and suit. <laughs> tail and suit. You can't raise your arm up. Stop. First of all, I tail and suit. You can only get your arm up. Now, first, first of all, I wrestle. First of all, I got my ass whipped by my brother. Third of all, from Northeast Baltimore. 
Why did I slap you, bro? The fight. Who this bitch ass in the ball? Ain't no fight. He fight. Look, look, ain't no, ain't no motherfucker. You never going in. So now, motherfucker. You want out? I don't want to motherfucker tell me. What are you supposed to do? What was he to do? Um, that nigga got on stage and walked towards them. What the fuck else we talking about? I mean, why, why your fucking? No, he's saying like this. Why your fucking instincts is weak? No, no, no. We have to move. No, no, no. Chris Rock. I want to come back. Right, 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 right. Chris Rock. Understand the situation. Chris Rock was in. Okay, okay. Chris Rock was in a situation. Wait, he was in what? I know. He's the master of ceremony. Right. I didn't even know. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. A dude walked on stage and showed his whole ass. Dude. No, I don't say, don't say, don't say, they 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 say, he ate it. 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 Now, now, what did he do? But what did he do? What did he do? He's a calculating smart motherfucker. Yeah, you go on. So he said, okay, I'm going to think about my reaction. You put your, you put life on your career. I'm going to think about it. What did he do? He waited months. Months. He waited days. So you can calculate. Not very days. He calculated. So you calculate. He said, I'm going to her own town. I'm back, y'all. Because he ain't willing to the issue. Yeah. She the issue. All right. She the boss. Now I'm going to attack your bitch. She the boss. Now I'm going to attack your bitch. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm now gonna gonna do that. I'm going to I'm going to our backyard. Uh, Let's talk. On top, 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 top of all that, you decide, all right, I'm going to say this about J.D. and Will, whatever. Boom. We fast forward to the Grammys. Will probably been egging and say, young. He probably said, that nigga say something on him, slap the shit up that nigga on the stage. And if he's a clown and chasing Jada Pinkett and don't deserve her and or everything under the sun is why he going to do some shit that I don't agree with. By the way, because, I don't because, agree. Because Will's a clown. Listen, Shut I... Shut up! Because Will's a clown. Let me just slap Corey Holden. He's damn sure what. Let me say my shit. He's damn sure what. Let me say this. I disagree with him slapping him. He should have just looked at him like he was a clown and then moved on. But he decided to get up and slap, slap him. him. If you slap him, slap him because you were mad and you slap him because of that. Well, don't slap him. That, don't slap him because you're a woman. He slap that bitch nope. ass. No, no, no. That's the fact. No. Don't be slapping. Don't, 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 like don't, don't slap him. him. Don't well, slap him because you're a woman. No, no, no. Well, but he's slapping because you're a woman. Listen, listen, listen. 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 They say shit. I mean, but Chris Rock is Chris Rock. Settle, he ain't exactly. He's Chris Rock. He was getting, he was getting done. Done. Everybody hates Chris. So, all right, so, 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 Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith a thug for slapping Chris Rock? No, Chris Rock a punk for getting sniped by Will Smith. Who's what? that a thug? No, but when Will in 6'2", Chris Rock fired his ass. That is everything. He is so, that's no, he, bro. No, he, 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 he felt very that's comfortable. That's enough. He felt very comfortable doing that to him. He wouldn't have done it in certain other people. Who else would have done it? He ate it, and a year later, he whined about it in both of them. And he got it all. And he got it all. Steve Mills said. he got it all. Steve Mills said. Can I ask both of y'all a question? Y'all can go off again. Do y'all think that shit was from all the pain of knowing that Jada Ruby was in love with Tupac Shakur. Mm -hmm. Do you think all that pain and pit of energy for slapping Chris Rock? Yes. Slapping the shit out of Yes. Rock. Was about Tupac? Was about knowing your woman was in love with another star. Yes. I, I don't think so. But I, do, but I will say this. I do think he knew he could slap Chris Rock to vent. <laughs> exactly. So that, that I do know. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Is that why all the comedians... Which makes him a sucker. And what is Chris Rock? Which makes him a sucker. No, no. Listen, more than anything, as debated, heated, debated, whatever this whole situation was, come, man. It was a fucking pleasure meeting you. Man. Pleasure having you on here. Involved in this heated debate. I love you, boy. Man, I love you. Show, sure, man. Really? Listen, you, thanks, listen man. I've learned a ton of things about oh, this shit, man. Oh, man. And I can't wait to go down the fucking... Rabbit hole with just yeah, shit. Man, we Yo, y'all go check cop. He is on Apple, iTunes, all that Spotify, new music out right now. He who wish they speak of. And the song that's here, the T.
Merlin Dank Rollers. Yeah, it's oh, a semi He's Jamaican. He got 20, 20, 20 like, them hats hard. Gotta keep going, man. You yeah, gotta keep merch for the, for the hat. You know what I mean? For the, for the, for the tea. Don't forget Latia the tea, the first sip and listen. Sip and listen. You know what I mean? Shit. So when, when you scan it, the album pulls up and play for you. No matter what album I got out, the latest will always play from the tea bottle. Oh, super duh. Super Serve how to call. Oh my. And we'll turn and the over the top of birth. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the T84 for Shout out with the for Shout out Women's History Month. Fall Rainbow Love. Victoria's Let's go.